Not content with just organizing conferences, Dr. Klatz and his vice president, Dr. Bob Goldman, have become inventors. This is their latest creation, a device to freeze and protect the brain in an emergency. They believe it offers a sneak preview of a glorious future when technology will provide awesome weapons to combat death and prolong life. We're now chilling the brain as this chemical compound is flowing through the arteries into the brain, gradually lowering the temperature of the brain. Emergency crews have only five or six minutes to revive a patient before brain damage or even brain death occurs. The object of the brain cooling device is to chill the outer portion, the cortex of the brain. Dr. Ronald Klatz has created a device that actually chills the brain and the spine with carbon dioxide during CPR. The goal? To protect the brain long enough to give medics a fighting chance to make CPR successful far more often. There was a child in Chicago just a few years ago who was under the ice for at least 20 minutes, pulled from the ice, was flatlined, no EKG, nothing. Who could forget the lifeless body of Jimmy Tontlowitz, who was revived an hour after his rescue and recovered without brain damage. It was because of that rapid cooling that the child was able to walk away from that event essentially undamaged. During CPR, Klatz combines brain cooling with what he calls a brain cocktail, injecting special protective fluids through the carotid artery to help the brain survive without normal blood flow. So if we could give the paramedics and the emergency room doctors that magic 20 to 25 minutes, we should be able to save almost half of all the people who we perform CPR on today. Klatz hopes within a few years, the brain resuscitation kit will be standard emergency equipment. You hope that this never happens to you or to anyone close to you. But coronary heart disease, the cause of most heart attacks, is still the biggest killer in the Western world. Arrive here without a pulse, and the chances of a complete recovery are less than 4%. Although the heart can be restarted in over half of CPR cases, the sad fact is that in 95% of incidents, brain damage and ultimately death are quick to follow. Without oxygen, you've only got about three minutes before the brain is damaged, often beyond repair. While, of course, none of us can guarantee cold conditions in emergency situations, two Chicago specialists have developed a device designed to do just that. Called a brain cooling device, or BCD, this prototype could be standard equipment for ambulances and emergency teams of the future. Doctors Klatz and Goldman are the co-founders of the American Academy of Sports Medicine. A preoccupation with health and fitness has led them to look more at how to sustain life in emergency situations. The BCD allows carbon dioxide to flow into a chamber. As it flows, it expands and forms dry ice, which can be as cold as minus 80 degrees Celsius. The cooling effect on the scalp is transmitted to the brain protecting it from injury caused by the decrease in the blood flow. The back plate connected to the helmet makes sure the neck and vertebral arteries which supply the brain with blood are also cooled. But reducing brain temperature is just one half of the system. The other half, the brain resuscitation device, works to restore circulation. The patient is connected to the pump through the carotid arteries in the neck which deliver blood to the brain. The pump flushes out the stale, stagnant blood and replaces it with oxygenated artificial blood. It's that fluid which helps the brain tissue to survive. It also contains barbiturates to slow metabolism and a new category of drugs called Lazaroids. They're named after Lazarus, the biblical figure who rose from the dead to live again. And they've been shown to actually reverse early brain injury for up to 35 minutes. There have been a number of animal studies performed. And what they found is even when they take animals and they stop their hearts for even hours, filling them with ice water, chilling their bodies down, these animals, when revived hours later, are OK. So here, a basic concept has worked in animal studies.
It's hoped that BCD will become part of the front line in emergency medicine. Whether it be in the back of the ambulance or in the emergency room, it certainly increases the chances of survival for a CPR recipient. And it adds meaning to the old adage that it pays to keep a cool head in an emergency.